Good afternoon and welcome to my hobby bench. On the table today I have a Sato FA82 engine that we are going to do a little bit of four-stroke troubleshooting with. Now this is an engine I just recently got today in a Facebook marketplace deal. Now to me this engine looks like it's in beautiful condition. It's the 82 at the early it's the 82A so it's got the black composite uh, rear cover. The only thing is it's got a little bit of an issue here with the throttle arm like it got burnt or cut off or something. But I mean overall this engine looks like it's in beautiful shape. I mean it looks brand new but here's the thing. Here's why I got it for such a good deal. Absolutely completely no compression whatsoever. So how we troubleshoot this is the fellow that sold it to me said if he held his finger over the exhaust port, then he got compression. Okay, so what does that tell us? It tells us that there's something going on in the exhaust side of this head or engine. So now I don't have a magnifier or a, a, a way to show you. I don't believe I've got a way to show you. Let me see if my little headlight... I can see it, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I don't think you can. Anyway, what I can see is that there is no movement of the exhaust valve at all. So let's, and I, I pretty much know what this is, but let's just go through it and say we don't know. Let's just take these rocker covers off. so that we can verify that obviously there is no movement there. Pull that all the way out. So this thing, this exhaust rocker arm looks brand new. I mean, I don't, to me, this looks like it could potentially be an engine that was run like one time and then put away. Okay, so here, let's look at these valve movement here, the rocker arms. Uh, which way is going to be the best for you to see? So, what I'm hoping you can see is that the intake is moving, but the exhaust valve is not. So, the first thing I see here is that it's jumped out of it's jumped out of the pocket there. So, okay. I don't know if this one had a gasket. Okay, the gaskets are there. So the push rod is not engaged in the cup on this, first of all. So let me get my bit so I can remove that rocker arm if possible because I am unable to depress that any further and since the cam follower is the issue that's really the root cause is that the cam follower is not moving so I'm gonna have to pull this rocker arm off just to free some tension on that um, bow spring Just loosening that was enough to at least get that engaged in there. Okay, lo and behold, look at that. It wasn't actually a stuck cam follower. Somehow, all it was, seemingly at this point, was that this push rod was jumped out of the... So here's the thing, I still have no compression. So we still have an issue. So our cam followers are moving. Push rods are moving. Let's get this at top dead center. Get my bamboo skewer here. Oh, I got 
the blow plug in there. I've got to take the plug out. Let's take that plug out. See if I'm at top dead center here. Aim at top dead center. So here could be the reason why there's no compression is that valve lash is really tight there. So now what I'm going to do is get my uh, valve adjusting tools. That's not the one. That's not the one either. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen this up. Just loosen that rocker arm up. Ooh, yeah, boy, look at that. Now you got compression. Now, I didn't set the valve lash, I just loosened it up. I want to lock that down. I'll rotate this back up to top dead center. stroke it's coming up we're at top dead center now all I want to do is just feel that I've got a little gap there and I don't <coughs> I could just set the valve lash but for the purpose of a demonstration and troubleshooting I just want to Okay, so I basically, I think jumped out of there again. What is going on with that? Okay, so let's go back to top dead center here. Okay, I think I've got enough play in there. Valve lash isn't set properly, that's okay. I just want to get enough play in there so that we can do a compression check. Make sure that that's all that's really wrong with this engine. Yep, now I got compression. I think I still have a valve lash issue thing going on here, but the bottom line is now this engine has compression. So, that's basically all there is to that. Now, I don't even know that there's a need to disassemble this engine, although I might like to at least look inside the rear cover and see what the condition is in there. Because maybe this thing won't need anything else, but if I pop the rear cover off, I can at least check to see what the bearings look like. I mean they feel fairly smooth and then all I'll really need to do is set the valve lash properly maybe put a little oil in here lubricate it and then we'll be good to go
when I look inside the exhaust port, I see very little, very little discoloring of the exhaust valve stem. So I think this may have been run, maybe, but I mean it's so smooth and clean. Even the exhaust, it has that newer style Sato exhaust. And those things are notorious for really showing even the first run. You get a lot of carbon built up on them and this thing had none. Wow, oh, these things are... That's the only thing with these composite back plates is, wow, that's giving me like carpal tunnel just trying to get these things out of here. Jeez. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Does it have a gasket? No. So here's the inside of the engine. And the inside back there. Looks dry. Wow. So let's oil it up. I think I'll put some ballastol in here. I'm just going to liberally oil here. Put some in there. Put some up here. These rocker arm areas were completely dry. A little bit there, a little bit there. You know, the only thing I'm thinking here is maybe that spring was depressed for so long that it's lost some of its... Something just sounds kind of weird about that, the way that flips over like that. But maybe it's just a matter of valves not being set properly but see it just has a weird sound there when you flip it over I don't know if that means that I really still need to disassemble it or not I don't pref would prefer not to I mean this carb is beautiful looks like there's a, a little bit of a ding in this intake manifold I think what this engine needs is uh, just to be put on the stand and run and I'll, I'll set the valve lash, obviously, and take it from there. But I mean, there's some quick troubleshooting of a four-stroke engine that had no compression. Okay, so off camera, I, I could have done the valve setting, val setting the valve lash on camera, but I didn't. So off camera, I set the valve lash, and here is this beautiful, spectacular Sato FA82 engine, and it's got a prop on it, and I'm going to show you the compression. This thing's got massive compression now. I'm going to try not to snap my finger here. I know it's hard to gauge compression by a video, but trust me, this has got really, really good compression. So what I was showing you with the weird compression or, you know, not quite perfect before I set the valve lash was exactly that, just not setting the valve lash. So now with the valve lash is set, this engine basically looks brand new and I'm really not sure that I'm in love with it so I'm considering actually just putting it up for sale and it actually comes let me zoom out here comes complete with a box the tools the manual 2006 version manual Sato 82 engine so Anybody watching this, if you're interested potentially in owning this, I'm saying like new. I took the rear cover off and I think you saw it. it. To me, it didn't look like this thing has ever been run. Maybe once, but the bearings are perfect. It doesn't need bearings replaced at all. So there you go. If you're interested in this, send me an email. I will not entertain anything in the comments section. So it has to be via email. So there's your troubleshooting OS or Sato engine lack of compression troubleshooting video.